Hi guys, so I've bought these uh, Viking bags, uh, they're Warrior model, a Warrior uh, by Viking Bags Medium for my 2017 Victory Octane and I'm going to just kind of go through the install and uh, make a little bit of a video of that and the challenges. Okay, so this is what Viking Bags gives you to mount uh, mount the bags to the bike. Now, the all the videos online you'll see it has a round bracket. Now they've got this, they call this their new and improved bracket, their low bracket. So it actually moves, so you can adjust it based on, I'm assuming based on the size of the bag, they probably have multiple bags, smaller and larger, so they've got this one bracket and it mounts with the bolt through here, actually not that bolt, this bolt through there which sits nice and flush which is nice and then mount that there <clears throat> and then you're supposed to use the second and fourth hole uh, to drill through your bag to mount that. Um, now they say to extend it you know your max and then use the second and a fourth hole so I'd recommend we give ourselves a little bit of a play so that if we mess up the hole drilling we can still move it in and out a bit to get it right. But that's not so that that's, looks okay, and I've kind of figured that out. What's really funny though is all the bolts they gave me. So I've got all these super long bolts, uh, and then they say if the bolt's too long and it touches your tire, then use these spacers that they give you. So they give you four. Uh, actually, I got eight. I don't know. I got two ba two bags of bolts. Um, so they give you these thick spacers and these half. Well, these are half that. They, so you get, uh, I got eight of these, <clears throat> and eight of these, and then eight nuts as well, although I think you're only supposed to get four, but I got eight, and these bolts here are what match the bike, the Victory, it's a six mil uh, Allen key, and that's, it's a metric, these are all metric bolts, and then that goes in, so, um, yeah, they're a little bit long, so, because this is what you have to do, you have to actually... I'm going to take this bolt and you're going to go through your bag which is an eighth of an inch thick maybe and then so this is going to be on the bike here the bike's going to be here this is going to go through the bag an eighth of an inch thick and then through this plate and then and then bolt it on so then you <laughs> then you take this bolt and you tighten it all the way to the bottom and then they suggest oh if that bolt's too long put a spacer inside your bag so that it's like this. Well, that's ridiculous. Like, why would I have a three inch long bolt, which they all are three inches long, when all I need is a half inch long bolt? So uh, well, I figured out that I need these. I need four of these, wherever they are. They're in here in this pile someplace. Anyways, I need four of these. Oh, actually, here they are. I put them away and the, put them aside. Okay, so these, these are slightly shorter than these even, so they, they gave me these as well. So there's four brackets, so four bolts, these to match my bike, go in there, and then this, I'm actually going to use the spacer, like that, and mount it to the bike, and then this goes in the fender. It's still a little bit long, but it's fine. Um, I could cut it if I really cared, but I think it's going to be just fine like that. And then, um, so this, I, I found these bolts, found these bolts here, um, in my bucket of bolts, and I've got eight of them, and I need eight of them, and what I'm going to do with that is what I was going to do, is basically mount it like that, and now the bolt doesn't stick out super long, right, that works really well. Now I kind of wanted, I, well, before I tell you about that like I don't know why they like Viking bags didn't just weld this bolt here by uh, this nut so if this nut was welded onto this bracket that would make your life a lot easier right you could just bolt that in and not have to like somehow hold this back here when you're doing it or put the bolt in this way and inside your bag put the nut on you could do it that way um, but you still got to hold the bolt from spinning when you tighten it <clears throat> so um, so here's my idea. I'm going to actually tack weld the bolt into there. 
So it's going to sit on the bike. Bike's going to be here on this side. Eh, let me get this right. Bike is going to be here on this side. I don't. I wouldn't. I don't have to tack weld that, but I'm going to tack weld it so it doesn't move and it's nice and tight. I don't have to get a tool in there that way. Bike's there. Tack weld that like that. <clears throat> and then they give you these. They only give you four of these, unfortunately, not eight of them. These wing nuts, and I'm going to tighten that, and this will be inside my bag, and then I'm going to tighten that on there like that, and to hold the bag, and then if I want to take the bag off, I just got to fling off four wing nuts, and away I go. So that's what I'm going to do. And so they only gave me four of these, uh, these nice plastic washered wing nuts. So I went to the hardware store, and I got four more wing nuts. They didn't have these plastic, same plastic ones, but <clears throat> they had four wing nuts and, of course, fender washers, which actually happened to be exactly the same size as this plastic. It's beautiful. So, what I'm going to do, and again, you don't have to to do this. Um, if you, you know, I wanted a quick way to take this off. You could just use the nut and then use that tool but I think this is easy. this is more convenient and I don't know why you know a big company can't figure stuff out like this now if they would have given me eight of these I'd be golden I don't I don't have these these are really slippery so I'm afraid that if I tighten this down in the bag the washer will hold and then this will kind of oh with the vibrations it'll loosen up so I'm gonna weld that to that and then I'm gonna have a nice uh, ready to go part there we go. So let's do that. Okay, so I've bolted the brackets onto the uh, onto the bike here, the way it's. I think it has to go, and then I'll adjust as I go. So this is going to sit like that, about, and uh, I'll have my wife. Uh, make sure it's lined up and watch that while I uh, I'll mark it so I'll just get them lined up and I'll mark the holes here on the back of the bag uh, before I drill them so that's how I'm going to do that all right so I marked up these and drew these lines on on the bag after lining it up so it took quite a while to actually line up the uh, the bag on the bike to get it perfect and then uh, and then mark the holes the hardest part was marking that because there's not very much room to get in there. So you've got to drill a hole quite big. Um, so I'm going to start with a pilot bit here and get that done first. Otherwise the drill bit might walk around on there. just uh, make sure my bolt fits perfect fit it actually said to use a uh, 3 8 drill bit and I couldn't find one so I had an 8.5 mil then it's an 8 mil bolt so I figured that would be perfect it's not as much play as that one which is nice should be nicer to be a little bit tighter all right all right so there we go got that mounted looks pretty good to me uh, it worked first time it is kind of a pain, as I said, to hold these bolts back here and then, and if you had nuts and bolts, and then to tighten the bolts in here, really a big pain in the butt. So, like I said, I'm going to weld those bolts onto the brackets. I haven't done that yet. I wanted to make sure everything was good. And I'll test fit everything, and then I'll weld that on, but I'm liking that. I think it looks pretty nice. And it goes really well with the bike. And then I have to drill the holes on the other bag, so what I'm going to do is take this bag off and line it up with the other bag and then uh, drill those holes so the other side's exactly the same. And then uh, and away we go. Alright, so here's my brackets. I took, uh, I welded them and I repainted them. Um, they are powder coated, so I just kind of painted them up. You won't see that anyways because it's going to be sitting on the bike and then the bags are kind of mushed up against here and anyways, you're not going to see it. It doesn't look bad anyways. Um, yeah, so now I've got these wing nuts that, uh, well, these are the ones I welded with the washer on them. 
the washer and the wing nut. Uh, the paint didn't really stick, but I'll repaint them another day. Um, yeah, so there you go. Now, nice and solid, when I mount this on the bike, I'm not going to have to get my fingers in there. I can just zip these on and zip the bag on. So I think that will work. Oops. That will work really well uh, once I try it out. So I'll let the paint dry and then uh, I'll do that. So I'm going to mount these right now and uh, I painted all these little spacers as well. I decided to go, I'm going to try the little spacers instead of the big spacers and see how, how that goes. <clears throat> I'm going to do one of these at a time. Otherwise this thing falls down. The only reason why I'm using the spacer is actually because it fits kind of here and it sits better than the uh, than the bracket itself. Okay, moment of truth. I'll unlock this bag. It's the only kind of thing that kind of annoys me, but I see why they did it. Is you have to, you can't get the key out unless it's locked. And they're very hard to open. Okay. Now, hopefully, this lines up. It's close. Come on. This one here is slightly off. There we go. There we go. And then get our wing nuts which I got in here. And now tighten those up. There, finally done. Um, probably took me about three hours, but I wanted to do it a very specific way. Um, and I did have to actually switch these spacers out for the thicker spacers because it was hitting my uh, belt guard down at the bottom on the left hand side. So whatever, I switched that out. I was hoping to use a smaller spacer, but uh, they're pretty even. If I kind of try to tilt my head on the same angle, uh, they look good. I think they go with the bike pretty good there we go hope that helps you uh, install your bags